you're missing your money, your wallet, your ID, your credit cards. And when you know that you're in the wrong for picking up prostitutes, you tend not to report it or you tend not to report it correctly. So what turns out to be a trick roll or a female taking your wallet turns into, well, I was robbed by six males and they rolled me. But you don't have a bruise on you, but six males rob you? Don't make sense. What's your first name? Tamika. What is it? Tamika T. Tamika. Tamika. Okay. You ever been arrested, Tamika? And I'm going to see if she's going to come clean and just tell me what I need to know. We'll give it a shot, and then we'll go from there. Have him come down here and vouch that you're 18, and I'll let you go. What's his name? It's Glaze. Glaze like glazed donut? Like Krispy Kreme? Answer the phone. That's him. Well, of course, she's talking to her, who we believe is a pimp. And his thing is, he's trying to find any other way for her to confirm her ID other than coming down here himself and vouch. Last thing he wants to do is talk to the police. Because you know Glaze ain't showing up. You know that, right? right? I'm not 18. My name okay. is Alicia Marie. All right. Be honest. 85. Now, why didn't you just tell me that in the beginning? I don't want to have my name out here. Why? Because what? Because I don't want to get a reputation out here. For what? For prostitution. So should I take you to jail today for lying to me? No. Huh? Because you couldn't, you couldn't admit to me in the beginning that you were doing what? That you were doing what? When I was prostituting. That you was out on the stroll. Yeah. Let me tell you what's going to happen, all right? Tonight is your lucky night. You get to go home, but this is it. This is my strip. I don't want to see you no more tonight. So you tell Glaze the shift is over with. I don't want to see you no more tonight. Understand? You be safe, girl, because it's going to cost you one day. Yeah, he's got a problem. He looks a little amped up. What's going on? Step to the car and take your hands out of your pockets. Take your hands out of your pockets and step up to my car. That's the second time I've asked you. You're making me nervous. Take your hands out of your pockets and step up to my car. Take your hands out of your pockets and... Oh. Well, there's a Lamborghini up here with his hazards on, parked on the side of the road. Days you find an empty Lamborghini on the strip. There's a key to it right there. Only a $200,000 car. Is that the tow dude? Oh. Well, I was getting ready to roll it, baby. Just take it back to my house. We're all good. I had to go to work, so I had to leave it. People have so much money here that you can just leave the Lamborghini there and take a cab to the casino. Gotta love it. The kid walked in there, attempted to gamble, and when they started questioning him and how old he was, he basically dropped his ID and took off. Is that one joint wrapped in a garbage bag like you preserving it? This is old school. So we got weed, we got fake ID, what else we got? I'm sorry, sir, that's all I have. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> That's the word. Hey, you might as well have my picture on there. That dude's got hair feathered like 1982. This kid, first of all, he doesn't look 21. I don't care how much hair he grows on his face. He looked like a kid. And then the ID card, the kid on that looked like Justin Bieber. Makes me think you maybe you're not old enough to be drinking. You old enough to be drinking? Of course. And what are you drinking right there? Virgin. There ain't nothing in Las Vegas that's a virgin. Let me see that. We're going to make sure that she's uh, authorized to have a drink. If not, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department is going to finish this drink off. Next time I see y'all, y'all should be wasted, screaming, acting a fool, and one of y'all should be swimming out in the lake. It'll be me. All right, I'm, I'm going to walk back through here with Iowa, and we're going to be looking for one of y'all backs broken out there, man. I'm a man, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a strong man, but I think I just saw the most beautiful bride I've ever seen in my life just walk past. Hey, what? Did you lose a bet? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Tell me he's not wearing a thong right now. Tell me that. Tell me you didn't make him wear a thong. Okay, I'm going to walk away right now. He is okay. definitely wearing a leopard print banana hammock. Right. I say go get you a job and you won't be homeless no more. Mm. How about hey, that? I'm not homeless. I'm just downsized my house. <laughs> I remember that. I'm a downsized, baby. You ain't got nobody got to be hard no more. Hard to get you shot, killed, so stop being hard. Because being hard ain't got you nothing. Let me be hard. I get paid to be hard. That's nice. Right? <laughs> right. Guess what? I'm going to let you go. 
So let me guess. These two acting a fool yeah. and not the only. Oh, no. Shut up. And these two knuckleheads right here decided they're going to push somebody into her and knock her down. Are we done with all of the, I'm from SoCal, like you Snoop Dogg or somebody. Take you to jail, you get to eat, you get to shower, you get to watch TV. Maybe, you didn't even have any cigarettes. I'm my own brother. No, I can't give you his cigarettes. Can I ask him to give me one? That dude look like he can answer anything right now at this point. No. Are you serious right now? Is that a beer bottle sticking out the bottom of that car? You gotta be kidding me. Let me tell you how I know you got beer in the car. See right here hanging and look out your door. What is that? That's a beer bottle hanging, hanging out the car. Hey, you guys gotta do a better job of hiding the beer than, than hanging out of the, hanging out the door. Is that Iron Man down on the ground? Yeah. <laughs> With a beer in his hand? Is that a couple of your uh, superpowers right there? Uh, yeah, it, uh, it actually engages the arc reactor and the palladium core uh, to generate 12 gigajoules per second. That's research on this. Yeah. All that means uh, a .20 in legal terms. Let me see what we're working with. Come on, bro. That's fake. I know it's fake, bro. But what are you anyway? What are you supposed to be? <laughs> Let him go. We're not gonna take him to jail anything. Just make sure you keep that tucked tight. Now, once you get back to the room and you want to fling it all over the room with the with the fellas, it's all good. I'm having fun, man. That's your that's your problem, man. How is it mine? We were walking together. Now he's over there grabbing the street performer. See, now we gotta go deal with. <laughs> Roll the dice, you mess with the police, you go to jail. The house always wins. Where are you staying? Yeah, circus, circus. What are you doing in Las Vegas right now? Uh, yeah, hockey tournament. Oh, you're a hockey player. Another drunk person in Vegas. Hey, if I had a dollar for every drunk person in Vegas, I, I wouldn't have to work anymore. I mean, look, even Mario and Luigi can't control their liquor on the Vegas Strip. You caught any heat tonight walking around like that? Yeah, yeah, one person told me I was going to go to hell, but I think Michael had a sense of humor, so he'd appreciate it. I don't want you to get beat up tonight. Well, if I do, I'll give you a call. Uh, you might need that for real. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Take it easy. Thank you, man. Take yeah, it easy. Enjoy. You guys enjoy okay. Vegas. When everybody thinks that Mike is dead, he's forever down here, just like Tupac and Elvis, forever enshrined down here. We got a, a female that units were looking for earlier, uh, that she's a possible uh, burglary suspect. And they told the uh, front office that if she shows up again to give us a call, and apparently she just showed up. Everything I need is there. Okay, then we'll, we'll work that out. Just stand right here in the front for me. Hang tight, let me check something. I'm Sergeant Jenkins. Do you know what's going on with this lady out here? One of the watches and some other mm -hmm. personal items were found in her room. Okay. And the credit cards had about $3,900 spent. She came to the front desk and said, I lost my key, and they didn't ID her or anything. Well, you know why. I think sometimes here in America, when we're doing law enforcement, we get caught up as to what we think criminals look like. As you can see, criminals are colorless, they're faceless, and sometimes they can be nice looking.